Oh, my goodness. I yeah. know. That's, that's reassuring to hear that, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? Why don't you pull over somewhere where you won't get interrupted, and I'm, I'm gonna going to go ahead to. and play a song that from one of your EPs from uh, yours and Divine's, Candace. I think of you awesome. as David and Divine, so. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's, we are. That's the, we that's are. the band exchange name. first that's... name, my last name. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it people, goes well people together. People call me Divine all the time. Thank you. People call me Divine all the time, so I'm very used to that. People are like, hey, Divine. I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> D&D. Well, I'm going to play Leave the Light on for our listeners, and you go ahead and pull over somewhere safe, and then we'll discuss I it when I am. I'm going to find on. a safe place. Okay. A musician. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Leave the light on, baby. Because I just can't. Oh, I know you're right here Your love keeps slipping away from me And I won't wait till morning I see the sadness on your face So leave the light on, baby Let it shine And we'll find a way
was Leave the Light On by David and Divine off their EP. And I'll tell you, that is one of my favorite songs by you guys besides Saturday oh, Night. Thank you. It's thank just you. Just amazing. amazing. It's it really is. Line. That's a great song. Yeah, that's the very first song Dave and I ever wrote together. Um, and it's we laugh because that's the song that has made it to radio uh, this year. It's been on college radio and uh, regular stations all over the country this year. So we were super blessed and excited and honored by that. But, yeah, it's the first song I ever wrote together. So it's, it's, it was a beautiful meeting of the minds, and it came through. Definitely very nicely done. Make a great pair. Uh, how did you come up with the song? Do you write the lyrics and he writes the music or is it a little of both? I write, I, I write, I write everything. And then, uh, Candace says, well, I need to be on it too. And I'm like, fine. So <laughs> you can put your name on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh-huh. not true. <laughs> can I just give uh, a start? Is the uh-huh. farthest thing from the truth. No, um, in, in, we, we always, you know, sit in either one of our things and, and we just, a lot of times Dave will come up with a melody idea or he'll come up with a groove or rhythm. And, you know, oftentimes the songs write themselves based on the way that they feel. In in the case of Leave the Light On, I had had a chorus that was something that I, I loved, but I didn't know where it was going to go. And so I kind of just wrote a chorus and that was all I had, which was the Leave the Light On part. And Bob had set us up and we finally got together to write. And Dave was like, huh. <laughs> with my chorus. He's, he's, he's such an amazing, you know, musician uh, as well as a singer and composer and songwriter, you know, but he, my my playing is not nearly the level of his playing. And so he was listening to my chord progressions and changes going like, I don't know if that makes sense. And so I was like, well, but it just kind of works. And so finally he just surrendered and said, yeah, it works. And then we kept writing and he had a verse within minutes, it seemed like. And then we put our heads together and came up with a bridge. And, I mean, the song just really came out quite quickly, um, you know. But I, I think that usually when we're writing, just the tempo and the vibe, we sit down and, and if we come up with melodies first, and we're like, okay, what does this song feel like? What does it feel like it's about? And then, you know, having a male-female perspective in the same writing room, I think, serves us really well. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, yeah. as we're writing, you know, he was he would be like, well, I think it's, it would say, it would read or be said like this, and from a female perspective, I'd be like, ah, well, I'd be like, yeah, wow, I would have never thought of it that way, you know. Um, so I feel like our songs end up coming through with a lot of balance and a lot of heart because it comes from two different kinds of energies, you know. But I don't even know if I answered your question at this point. I, yeah. <laughs> I just realized I've been rambling about us writing songs, and then I forgot you how. You did. How you that. answered it. <laughs> No, that's the that's the whole heart of it though is the songwriting. So it sounds kind of like the the music and the lyrics are sort of worked on simultaneously with you guys. Yeah, yeah. we. You know, I would say for the most part we write um, all the music is written first, all the melodies, all the chords, everything's written first, and then we then we talk about what it's going to be about lyrically. What inspires your lyrics? Um. Just like to write enough hit songs that we don't have to play together anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I cannot Uh, wait to see you in two hours, Davey. uh, (laughs) Usually, yeah. Usually, Candace lambasts me on stage, so I'm I'm just getting back at her (laughs) Uh, before before our before our shows today. No, um, you know, um, that's actually a good question. What inspires us for the most part? is love and and positivity and and um positivity in friendships positivity in relationships and and um I, I, we love the idea of putting out like fun music i i feel like both of us feel like there's not enough like fun music out there and and, and however you care to define that there's a bunch of different ways to say it you know and, and there's a bunch of different genres of music that are fun and so within the pop soul genre that we're in we're trying to do music and lyrics that are fun you know that put a smile on your face i think yeah. i get oh, that they do. Mm-hmm. yeah for i sure. think at the end of the day we our biggest you know our universal goal is to write songs that we would want to listen to and because yeah. On top of being musicians and artists, we are also big music fans. You know, Dave and I also go see live shows, and we watch other artists, and we listen to the radio, and and we definitely take in all those inspirations and see 
you know, what, what people like listening to and what we like listening to, and we try to write songs that, as, you know, music fans, we'd want to hear. Now, what other artists have influenced you guys? Oh, my gosh. Um, Anthrax, Metallica. <laughs> uh, oh, I could tell. <laughs> Celine, Celine Dion. Uh, and you um, blended them so nicely. It's so obvious. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, we feel like we're really... Breaking new ground. Um, yeah, we. I, I would say, um, you know, we do a fair bit of. Um, it's it's mostly you know soul music. Uh, you know, it's it's um it's a fair bit of listening to like Aretha and Stevie Wonder. You know, when it comes to inspiration for certain songs, um, we also have like you know, I mean, guilty pleasure like love, love, love Michael McDonald and and okay. we've had a couple attempts. That don't necessarily sound like Michael McDonald, but were our attempt to kind of grab that spirit and that vibe. Um, so again, I would say anything that has, you know, any soul influenced music um, that has kind of a, a 60s, 70s vibe is, is definitely, you know, and, and the artists up until now that have been, I mean, Jamiroquai, for example, was a soul influenced artist out of the 90s. It was just phenomenal you know we so we love music by that band and you know and groove oriented stuff phoenix is a band out of the last 10 years it's a smoking groove oriented band and we like that and CeeLo now and uh you know bruno mars and and then you know all the way back to ray charles and you know uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> ray charles donna summer dusty springfield like so many of those great artists kind of of the motown 70s era into the disco kind of era we we like writing. Obviously, our ballads are very heartfelt, and just you know, in that aspect, we just write what we feel and love. But like our our more dance driven music is, you know, we're trying to keep what we love, which is soulful music, to a fun dance beat without it being only dance music where you can't you know necessarily sing along or or just listen to it in your car as much. You know, so we definitely um, have this. Uh, path in front of us that we genuinely love, which is kind of bringing back a disco era with a contemporary twist and in pop music, you know. And we can hear that in that music, in your music. Yep. Definitely, it's a combination of all of the above, and it's even better. Thank you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Now, David, you've written and performed with Lady Antebellum, Josh Kelly, One Republic, and others. What's it like to hear your music sung by such popular artists? Oh, it's really great. I, I, you know, it's wonderful. You know, um, it's a little, you know, strange sometimes because, you know, when you're when you're starting out playing music as a kid, you know, you don't think, yeah, one day I'm going to write songs for other people to sing. <laughs> right, <laughs> um, right. So, so it's um you know in some ways it's fun in some ways sometimes you wish you were singing it um but I've always been very grateful for the work that I've had and and um so in terms of hearing other people sing your song um it's cool but a little weird and yeah. um <laughs> and uh but in a good way in a good way you know mm -hmm. um but it's it's always a little strange and then you know it's it's been great working with uh with uh all of those bands so, you know they're cool people and and, um, you know, it's always nice to work with people that are nice that have talent. That's for sure. That's for sure. I, yeah. I would imagine that it's a surreal feeling when you're sitting there listening to that song on the radio or in concert and knowing that you've written that. And here it is. It's such a huge success by such great artists. Right. Yes, it is certainly, certainly surreal. But at the same time, it's what I planned to do. So, um, you know, it's it, it also feels right. Well, you've won a Grammy Award for songwriting, so that says a whole lot about you. How did that uh, feel? He's a pretty um, talented. 